Hey, Shalom Amakim. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Moson for teaching truth and for doing well. And peace, salutation to all Yahweh out there pushing and defending his gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. As well as to the believers, anyhow, by Hashem Yahushai, the men as well as the women, the hopeful elect. This is the brother Kahana Law from the GMS Hawaii. And um, I just wanted to do a quick lesson, Lord willing, it be edifying. You know, inspired by uh, something the, the other brother, Manat Sakba from uh, the South Carolina camp, you know, uh, said in his life preaching today, man. And uh, basically, you know, roughly paraphrasing what he said, um, you know, the elder was just saying how, you know, uh, brothers got to stop with the whole you know, DTA and, and keep constantly, you know, saying those those sort of, you know, things, man. You know, of course, we, we ought to prophesy, you know, the, the, the downfall of Esau's kingdom, man. You know, uh, his, uh, uh, his judgment, because it is written, man. We ought to, to bring it forth. But, uh, you know... Don't put out the image of, of, you know, of pretty much us doing it, um, us doing it in this time, you know, if, if, if brothers can understand, you know, the scriptures do say that, that the saints shall take the kingdom and, you know, that the Lord's going to use us as, uh, you know, his, his instruments of war, but guess what, that's going to happen once, Oh uh, yeah, how shy comes and cracks those those clouds. I mean those skies, and you know enters this atmosphere, man. You know prior to that, yes, brothers are gonna receive some sort of spiritual power to to overcome Esau's, you know, attack on 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 the saints. But uh, as of you know taking down Esau and you know and his his armies and all that stuff, man, that's not going to happen until the Lord comes back. And, and by that time, everybody's going to know that Yahweh Hashem Shai sent us, man, you know? But as of now, we, we ought to pretty much abstain from, <clears throat> uh, from any appearance of evil, man, because Esau is going to come down like a flood you know, and he's not going to have no, you know, he's not going to pull back on nothing. The elder, you know, also mentioned, like, hey, look, he's going to try to clip videos and, you know, use his technology to, you know, to say whatever it is. And if you, on that spirit of, you know, always, you know, chanting down Babylon and, you know, showing your 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 hatred towards this place and, and in your private life amongst, you know, your your uh, your work colleagues and your bosses and all that stuff, guess what? You're going to get caught up in that stuff, man. Because your Yahweh Shema Oshah told us to, to be what? You know, well, wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. This is in the book of St. Matthew 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. That's right, man. And we ought to be as, as sheep in the midst of walls. Meaning why? We're, right now we're we're uh, uh, fishing, you know, like the scriptures say. We're going to become hunters once Yahweh Shai returns. But guess what? For now we're just patiently waiting, casting that net, you know, to see if we could bring real in some of the elect. That's our job for now, man. So we ought to be, what, preaching the gospel, being, you know, an example on on how to, 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 to live godly, man. You know, and like I mentioned before, yes, we ought to prophesy the things that are going to happen to Esau, to the heathens, to the two thirds of our people. But guess what? That's not going to come forth from our hand. And if, if you know, or you mention it, don't. You know, don't say, oh, I'm going to do this. No, the Lord is going to do everything, man. The scriptures say that, that a vengeance is his, you know. 
It says, be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So we got to use this wisdom to know how to navigate, you know, through this world, man. We got to understand that, you know, we, we still under captivity, under Esau, man. So if we say certain things, man, Esau's going to try to, you know, take whatever we say out of content and, and you know, or try to accuse us of whatever he's going to accuse us of, man. But like I mentioned, you know, we got to be... Uh, we got to be uh, more uh, more uh, aware of, of our speech, you know, and in certain situations. Like I said, it, as long as it comes through uh, through the word of Yahabah Shem Awashah, hey, if, if, if they want to accuse us of whatever, so be it, man. But don't let it be you saying, oh, I'm going to do this or... you. I don't know if brothers are catching my flow, but, you know, we're not going to do nothing. You know, the Lord is the one bringing the, the, the downfall of Babylon the Great. The Lord is rise, uh, rousing up these, these armies to go into war. The Lord is going to bring the, those famines and the chaos. You know, he's going to put it in, in the minds of Jake's to, you know, to destroy each other, to destroy Esau and the heathens. We're not going to do none of those things, but the Lord will do it, man. You see? So when we prophesy, you know, we, we ought to, we ought to um, stay uh, scriptural, man. And that's something the apostles, you know, always say, you know, uh, stick to the script. Don't go off ranting too much about, you know, uh, the, the things you think you're going to do or, or you want to do. Like, nah, man, keep it scriptural let the lord spirit you know handle whoever however he's gonna do it you know we ought to be wise as serpents and harmless as does you know because at the end of the day we're not the ones that decide what's gonna happen you know yahabah shema was shy is real quick this is uh in the book of second corinthians chapter eight in uh, verse uh, I'll start at verse 19 It says And not that only But who Was also chosen Of the churches to travel To so like To travel with us uh, With this grace which is administered by us to the glory of the same Lord and declaration of your ready of your ready mind, avoiding this that no man should blame us in this abundance which is administered by us, providing for honest things not only in the sight of the Lord but also in the sight of men. That's right. So as we preach this gospel, man, uh, we got to avoid that that men in the world and even in the truth blame us for for what for. So like I was checking something out because just I'm parked over here. A car just randomly stopped by right next to me, but um. Yeah, you know, like it says, uh, avoiding this, that no man should blame us in this abundance, which is administered by us, uh, providing for honest things, not only in, in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. That's right. Let's read this in the NLT. It says, we are traveling together to guard against any criticism for the way we are handling this generous gift. That's right. To guard against any criticism. And we're going to get criticism from the two-thirds. From Esau. From the heathens. And even from those that call themselves. You know being Israelites man. They're going to try to uh, criticize. You know how, how we handle the, the. The preaching of the gospel. And this is why. You know. We ought to what? To stick to the script. Like the apostles, the elders, and the brothers, you know, have taught us, man. 
and like Yahweh Shai, man. If uh, the scriptures say um, to the law and to the testimony, if he speak not according to the words of this book, is because there is no light in them. So when we speak about, you know, uh, judgment, when we speak about the destruction of Babylon the Great, or uh, the destruction of the two thirds, man, we are to speak scripturally. Don't go off of, you know, uh, the the thoughts of, of of your own heart, of your own mind. Because we don't know at the end of the day who's going to take care of what, you know? And that's why there's a scripture that says, um, it's in the in the book of Second Ezra, I believe, uh, that says, uh, inquire not how, how the ungodly shall perish, but how the, as a matter of fact, let me, let me check it real quick. I don't want to butcher it. Uh, Inquiring how the ungodly just bear with me, Akim. God, this is how in the book of Second Ezra, uh, chapter 9 and verse 13, it says, And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. That's right, man. So we understand that the, the judgment is coming. But we don't got have to go into detail about the two-thirds and the heathens, man. That's the, the least of our worry. Yahabah Shema Washai told us that he was going to take care of, of, of his enemies, which are our enemies. You know, that he was, he was going to, you know... Uh, do away with the proud and, and, and the wicked, man. So we know for sure that that's going to happen. So the scriptures say, be thou not curious how it's going to happen. You see how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved. So we ought to be talking about what? The, the gospel, man. The good news. You know, the gospel means what? Good news. And this is what, what we should be pushing the most. Prophesying, of course, of, of, of the perils that are coming, but also of the salvation that's going to come for the elect, man, for the hopeful elect, which is that good news. The good news is that what? That we're going to be delivered, Lord willing, we be part of that number. If we hold our, our, our faith and the testimony of Yahweh Shai unto the until the end that we're gonna be delivered man you know so we ought to be uh doing that instead of you know constantly just harping on all oh, babylon is gonna fall you know and and keep you know pretty much uh not how can i put it into I'm trying to articulate a sentence to, you know, to relay the message to brothers. But pretty much, you know, our job is to, to, to bring the good news to the elect. That's the most important job, you know, about this ministry. And, of course, we're going to bring that, that, uh, that message to first showing them what the Lord is bringing, which is that judgment. But then if we... Believe in him, he's gonna bring what that salvation, you know. And we don't gotta harp on all oh, this is what's gonna happen to you, and you know, as much, you know. Of course, the scriptures say, uh, through the fear of the Lord, we per we persuade men, but like I mentioned, you don't gotta constantly be, you know, saying, like, Look, this is what's gonna happen to this place, and this, and this, and that, in detail, because. As we mentioned, uh, Esau is going to use uh, clips from us. He's going to try to, you know, put all sorts of charges upon upon brothers, man. Because we're we're speaking uh, against his, his establishment, against his kingdom. You see? But if we speak according to the word of the Most High, then what are they going to say? You know? What, what can Esau... Esau's going to charge us and come and say, oh, look, 
these people are are this is a group of men that are trying to to take down Babylon the Great. Like nah, the Lord. This is what the Lord has been saying. The 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 same book that you say that you stand by, the same God that you say that you believe in. That's what He's saying. We're just out here giving you the message, you know, whether you like it or not, whether you hear or forbear. That's the 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 true uh, message of the Lord, man. The true message of the Bible. Now, if we are accused of, of whatever it is because of bringing the word of the Most High, then so be it, man. But don't give that that um, that devil uh, an excuse to fall upon you to, you know, to just lock you up for for uh, being uh, for bringing forth uh, like appearances of evil, man. That's why. You know, we always say, don't be out on your Instagrams, on, on your Facebooks, you know, in a fucking gun range with fringes and saying, oh, look, we ready. Nah, man. Ready for what? We ready We ready to through the spirit. We don't need to be holding no damn guns and no nothing. At the end of the day, the Lord's going to take care of us. And that's. That's our, our our salvation. That's our refuge. Not in no weapons, not in no bunkers, none of that stuff. Not not in any military training. That stuff is not for the elect, man. Now, yeah, brothers may, you know, practice jujitsu, do some, you know, uh martial arts, self-defense against weapons. That's cool, man. But at the end of the day, the Lord's gonna put a, a you know, a spirit to protect us in those days. You see, this is uh, the book of First Thessalonians, so like here, chapter five and verse uh, twenty-two. It says, "Abstain from all appearance of evil. Stay away in the uh, NLT. Stay away from every kind of evil." That's right. And again, I'm not saying uh, uh, prophesying against Esau's kingdom is evil. Of course not. But like the elder, you know, mentioned, stop saying DTA. You know, we know the judgment of Babylon the Great. But you don't have to constantly keep telling Esau like, oh, DTA, which is death to to Babylon brothers should know what that means you know why because Esau could use it against you real quick um, the book of Ephesians uh, 5 verse 15 it says see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil and as Esau you know tightens up his grip upon you know the the, the internet upon laws you know or we ought to be walking um carefully man more circumspectly watching what what uh what we say in certain occasions you know because again Esau is coming you know the, the scriptures say for the devil is lurking to see who who can he who he could devour roughly paraphrasing you see so it says see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise and a good example of fools is who you know uh, groups like uh ISUPK, you know, that, that are out there with, with weapons, or uh, groups like, uh, I believe it was, uh, um, oh, uh, shoot, I forgot the name of, of the group, but, um, uh, you know, these Israelite groups that, that say, oh, you gotta, you know, change your garment for a weapon, like, nah, man, that's walking like a, 
like a fool, man. You, <laughs> you know, you're gonna get caught up in those things, man. That that's an appearance of of evil, man. And if you're chanting down, you know, saying DTA and you know, saying all sorts of crazy shit, and then you know you're constantly posting pictures of you shooting and videos and you know saying it while you're doing all those things, man. Guess what? Isu's gonna have you, you know, in a in a special list, man, to go get you. You see? Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now we living in those evil days, man, in the last evil days, man, where Esau is gonna, you know, ultimately uh, try to come for 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 all of the hopeful elect. But guess what? There's a, a protection over the the elect. To the point where he's not gonna, you know, he's not gonna be able to touch them, man. Yes, some of them, you know, are, are gonna be um, beheaded for the testimony of Yahweh by Shimei Oshai and suffer, you know, uh, imprisonment and many other things. But guess what? They, that comes with a great reward. You see? Uh, this is uh, the book of Galatians, chapter 4. So like it. Oh no. Colossians chapter four. And verse uh five. It says, uh <clears throat> walk in wisdom towards them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how. Oh, ye ought to answer every man. That's right, man. So we ought to walk in wisdom to, towards them that don't have it. You see, and if you are coming off as, you know, this individual that's just, you know, angry and, you know, you're just saying DTA and, you know, death to the two thirds and all, all the time, you know, you're, you're not going to come off as a wise man. You see, as much, you know, I always watch the the apostles, you know, the, the elder bishops, and as, as much wisdom as they have, you know, the scriptures say for with much uh, wisdom comes much grief. And, uh, and also um, the other scripture that says uh, wisdom maketh a wise man mad. With all that wisdom that the apostles and the elders have, man, you, you would think that they would be fucking you know cursing out babylon the great every chance they they got man but they don't you know they're out there preaching you know with wisdom with uh you know um with salt very calmly very you know uh edifying not just this wild spirit of all oh, you know death to this place and you know that's not the way you you approach um, those without wisdom, man. Especially in these end times where, you know, you have a bunch of bug outs, crazy individuals out in the world. You know, you you got to come out with with wisdom, with decorum, with, uh, you know, with truth. So that so that those that are without that are seeking it that may be part of the elect can look at you and say, "Damn, this guy's a you know he, he's a the way he handles himself, the way you know they they preach and teach. This is a man of the Lord, not these wild fucking crazy individuals like certain groups we know. You see, it says, let your speech be always with grace." Seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. That's right, man. So, hey, at, 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 um, at the end of the day, everything is to what? To, to answer the questions of, of, of those those that are seeking Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? In truth and in sincerity. Part, part of, uh, you know, feeding the flock. Feeding the sheep of Yahweh by Shem and you gotta, you know, you gotta have a certain, uh, 
um shoot a certain certain characteristics man that that are such as what to be gracious to be uh you know uh seasoned with salt to be uh, uh calm whenever it's is needed yeah of course sometimes we you know we get uh, passionate about certain topics we speak but we got to be able also to you know uh, come down from that that spiritual high to to meet whoever it is that that has a question so that they could be they could feel like okay I could talk to this individual you see so hey with that I don't want to make it too long Lord willing it was edifying again all praises honor and glory go to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai by Shemakadash Lord willing till next time hey, shalom.